Hi, this is Armona from FrameVR. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to port shaders from Shader Toy into FrameVR. Stay tuned. Alright, so for this video, I'm going to use the shader as a reference point. So, as you can see on the left hand side, we have the shader, and on the right hand side, we have the shader code. So, first thing first, you're going to have to like, recognize the variables given. So, the first three lines of code is called the macro variables. We have the time scale, tiles, and the color. And then the second, uh, the other variables are inside a function itself. So we have the frag color, which is of type vector 4. We also have the frag coordinates, which can also be referred to as the UV coordinates, which is of type vector 2. We also have the I resolution, which is of type vector 2. As you can see, uh, XY, if it's XY is a vector 2 coordinate, if it's XYZ is a vector 3 coordinate, XYZW vector 4 coordinate. So we also have uh, the ties, which I said earlier, is a macro variable. And we also have the I time, which is a float variable, this is used, this is used for like interpolation or to update the shader. Alright, so once you've done like recognizing all the variables, so you're gonna like have to like open a notepad. So which I already did here. Yeah. Uh, there's a notepad here. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> so you wanna you wanna like create a style name for the shader block you wanna make. So I call it glow key. You can put a comment. Then so the after once you're done recognizing the the um the variables, so let's say the false variable was a uh, let's say the frag coordinates, frag color, frag color. So there's an output, output variable, is the output variable. So frag for the output variable, we're gonna list that. We're gonna make that in here. We call it out parameters. You give it a name. It's a frag color, and what type it is? It's a vector four. So you're gonna put it right there. And we also have an input variable which is the frag coordinate. So, so you make you make a you make the object key called input parameters, and then you put this bracket, and then you put a you put a color bracket, and a color bracket is the frag coordinate is the vector two. So you put a vector two, put a name frag coordinate, and you put a type vector two. And so the next one, we also have the I resolution. I resolution. I resolution is a vector two coordinate x y vector two coordinate. You put our in there, and we also have. A, so make sure, make sure when making out the type, make sure you start with a capital V, because if you if you make it like a small a lowercase v, it's gonna like compile wrongly. So make it a capital V. So capital V vector, and we also have the I time which is a float. Make everything capital V. Make the type start with a capital. Make the start type start with a capital capital letters. So capital F, sorry. So floats start with capital F. Our resolution is a vector two type. So start with capital V vector two. For our coordinates is a vector two. Is an input for our coordinates vector two. All right. So we also have another variable which is called the i channel. So i channel. I'm just gonna put a i channel. I'm not gonna put a zero. I'm gonna put i channel. I channel is a texture, so it's a vector four coordinate. If it's in a texture, it's a vector four coordinate. So you put a vector four. I time float. Okay. Alright, so the next thing you're gonna have to do is uh, you're gonna have to make a function name. So the function name is called glow key. And so let's start um, importing all the codes into the notepad. So I'm gonna copy the first the first line of code, which are, which are the macro variables. So uh, I'm gonna copy this. Um, I'm gonna put this right here. Alright, so note and when trying to copy those files you can actually um so my bad um all right so i'm gonna copy everything then to make it much more easier i'm gonna link you to this website 
also this website txtformats.com I'm gonna put it in the description down below so you're gonna like um, you wanna paste the code you're gonna paste the code there you wanna change you wanna change the name of this function you wanna change it to um, the name the exact name the exact function name so I'm gonna call it glow key so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put a glow key right over here so the glow key okay alright so the next thing you're gonna have to do is um you're gonna go to um this because the JSON file so you have to like start with a with a apostrophe you start with a apostrophe and then you click add then the next thing you're gonna have to do is um uh, we need a closing apostrophe and I'm gonna a comma oh sorry so you put that right here you need a closing apostrophe you need a comma you need a single comma and then we go to end so I'm gonna click add alright so now we formatted the code into a JSON type so I'm gonna copy this code. I'm gonna copy this. Then I'm gonna go to um, so, um, so I'm gonna go back to the notepad. So I'm gonna copy this code. I'm gonna copy it right here. All right. So is that a code? I'm gonna copy it right here. Um. So you wanna format this even a little bit further? Uh. uh you want to format this give it some space I'll give it some space ok so give it some space so you want to make sure there's no you want to make sure this make sure there's no space in here you want to close this gap so I'm gonna give this a space so I'm gonna close this gap close this then uh um, okay close this gap <clears throat> then I wanna go right here I wanna close this gap next one you want to close this gap go to the next one and you want to close this this is going to take a time so I'm just going to go keep ok next one ok you want to close this also So you wanna close these? Wanna close these? Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close these. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close these. Um, So the last, the last comma, you can just take that off. You can take that off. You don't need that. Okay. So once you're done pasting the code, so the next thing you're gonna have to do is um, so you're gonna have to list all those variables. You're gonna have to put it inside a function. So you go to I resolution. So I'm gonna uh, I resolution. Where is it? So this, this is gonna come over here. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this out. This is gonna come over here. Put a comma. So you gotta go accordingly. So we got our resolution first. 
so I'm gonna go to our resolution the color is uh, vector 2 put our resolution put a comma then the next is for our coordinates we have that and then we go to I channel so I channel is a vector 4 is a vector 4 so this tab with a lowercase v right start with a lowercase v is also have a lowercase lower case v so um, you go to i channel you go to i channel and then the next next variable is the i time is the float so cut a float lowercase i time oh no, no i time so you're gonna have to make sure the names the names are the same you don't want to mess the name up so make sure the names are the same but in when listing the input variables and the output variables you want to start with a capital type so the vector 2 start with a capital V but in the function when listing the variables you want to start with a lowercase v and I use a use a acronym so the vector 2 vector 4 something like that this is a float variable float all right so um, All right, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, this this i channel this is a type vector four. So I remove the zero because I don't want to put it there. So I just want I want something like i channel. So and I, in the code, you actually want to you actually want to put. So I'm gonna take this as I said earlier. Make sure the names are the same. It's the i channel so yes you actually want to put a sampler you want to put a sampler after the i channel because when the code compiles on the in the node in the node material editor so it actually generates this name called i channel sampler so it won't actually generate it won't generate just i channel it's going to generate i channel sampler so you want to make sure you reference the actual the correct name so we're going to put a sampler after the i channel okay <clears throat> all right so i'm going to save this i'm going to go save click on save as so you want to save it as a json file second so json file click all files so I'll create a give it a new new glow key new glow key the JSON so new glow key the JSON so you're gonna eat on save alright so the save so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to the node material data website this website alright so now you're gonna come over to the left side and then you're gonna click on custom blocks, click on add. So we this is the new glow key. Alright, so we've correctly imported a glow key. So now I'm gonna drag these and bring it over here. Alright, as you can see we have all the variables. We have all the variables which we all the variables which we listed. I resolution we have it here and then we got a uh, you got a fair coordinates also we got an eye channel we also have the eye time okay all right so the next thing you don't have to do is um uh, so you know this eye resolution as I said earlier this is a vector 2 type so you want to import you want to drag a vector 2 node I want to drag vector 2 node so I'm going to drag it right here so I'm going to connect this to the eye resolution and then the frag coordinates can also be referred to as the UV coordinates so I'm going to type UV UV coordinates I'm going to drag this here and I'm going to link this alright so we have the floats uh, the i time variable this is just time this is used to like interpolate to the shaders this is used for interpolation and to update 
the shader so I'm gonna drag this time I'm gonna connect to this node to the eye time channel and we also have the eye channel the last variable as I said the eye channel is a vector 4 is a vector 4 variable so the eye channel is actually a texture which we want to use so um I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna add an image source so this image source I'm gonna drag it over here okay um this image source I'm gonna give it a name I'm gonna call it I channel okay so I'm gonna give it a I channel and then so once you done that so you wanna go back here because as you can see there's an I channel there's an I channel there's a texture so you wanna save this texture so I'm gonna click on save texture so I'm gonna save it to my local device call it um let's go to, let's give it a channel texture let's give it a name channel texture so it's gonna save the image and then once you wanna the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go over here you wanna click on the i channel you wanna click on the upload so upload I'm gonna go to download <clears throat> all right so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go back to the left side and then search for texture um you drag texture so you wanna link the source to the texture and the next thing you wanna do is you wanna link you wanna link the RGBA you wanna link this to this I channel okay okay alright so make sure this properly linked to the frag fragment output alright so as you can see we can't we didn't actually see anything because the resolution is zero so there's a resolution you can give it a name let's give it a let's call it a high resolution so we can't see you can't properly see anything because the resolution is zero so you want to give it a value let's give it a one and give it one and give it one okay so as you can see we've properly generated we've probably imported a shader toy shader into babylon.js then into frame vr so this looks sick <laughs> all right all right thanks for watching this video enjoy